All right, so it's another gorgeous, blessed summer day here in Portland, Oregon. Actually, it's the end of the summer. It's now September. And whenever something really cool comes in the shop that's different, I like to film it. And you guys are right on the forefront of checking all that stuff out because you get to see it if you're subscribed to my channel. This is a 1991 Subaru Sambar four-wheel drive van. It is not uh, sold in the United States. It's right-hand drive and it's really cool. Again, it's four-wheel drive. Uh, has a Sync Syncru sticker on there, but I think that's like a Syncro off of a van again that's been modified. But this is a pretty cool little van. It's got big bumpers that have been galvanized. The wheels have been galvanized. It has snow tires for off-road capabilities. It's a six-speed. Show you what I mean by that. It's right-hand drive. So on the shifter here, you can see this. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, there it is. So over here past one is extra low which is like a granny gear, and it automatically goes in a four-wheel drive if you put the shifter all the way over. So besides that gear, you've got the normal uh, five-speed plus reverse, and then if you want four-wheel drive in any other gear, you just press the electric button. It's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the dash here. Fairly simple. Uh, I don't know if the mileage is right. Only 190 kilometers. That doesn't seem like that's right. Um, there's a little diagram over there that shows you uh, if you're in four-wheel drive. I think it might have differential locks. I'm not sure. It's pretty capable. This van does have air conditioning, which is pretty cool. It's pretty roomy in here. It's high top. Let me show you the back. There's seating on the door here. Customer has put special seats back here, I guess, for taking customers for a ride and seatbelt harnesses. I'll show you. You walk around the back of the van, you see it's got an extended bumper with a hitch on it and lights. I'm not sure what that's all about. It has a special exhaust. It comes out of the, the manifold, you can see right there. It comes into a flex pipe and a muffler, makes a 90 degree bend, actually 180 degree bend, and then to another muffler, like a, like a uh, lawnmower muffler, and then a tailpipe out the side there. This is a four cylinder. It's laid on its side. You can see there, it's a, it's a four-cylinder clover engine, as they called, um, but it's completely flat. In other words, it's um, inline flat. It's not horizontal, if that makes sense. Um, I can describe that anymore. So all four cylinders are basically like this. It's really flat. So the problem with this thing is it's overheating and the radiator is up front so I'm not sure if it's just got air in the system or what. So it's in the shop today trying to figure that out. Coolant reservoir, it's right here. That's how you add the coolant. And I've got to figure out what's going on. The radiator is underneath the front seats. And it's funny because it has no air ducting. Like on my van, the radiator is right behind, you know, the grill area right here. But in this van, the radiator is actually right about there. Um, and it's ducted from underneath, as well as the air conditioning. It's kind of funny, I'll show you. That is the air conditioning condenser. Uh, it just has these scoops on it underneath the van. And the radiator is right there in front of the front cross member, front differential area. You can kind of see it there. So I'm gonna get to work on this thing. It's a little different than what I normally work on. Uh, pretty cool. I'm going to back up here and give you a good view. It's um, a little key van. It's K-E-I. Key van. Maybe they call it K-Van. I'm not sure. Uh, it has a lot of modifications. I know the owner likes to take it off-road, so that's why it's four-wheel drive extra. So, all right. I'm glad you guys uh, enjoy and uh, keep checking me out. You might see something else cool come along. Thanks for watching.